Nittany Lion Roar with Extreme Panda here, and we've got another war, so let's get to it. Um, this is what we've got going on on the battlefield. Uh, it's the t typical Teleria tank uh, war that uh, we often are fighting uh, in the top 100, and it looks like we are in need of flipping the board. So I'm going to look for one that doesn't have a Vela flank first to try and go after. Um... This one looks good, because it doesn't have a blue flank either. Those are some pretty good troops. I'm going to go with this team and hope it's good enough. Not a lot of red to start out with, but I can make one match. Don't know if I want to start making red matches quite yet, though, because I don't have enough of what I need to do to do that. Let's try to make non-red, non-purple matches to start with. This will at least give me a second red match. So that I can protect myself from Teleria, which is good. Larry always seems to survive with just a handful of life. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Well, let's just go ahead and get rid of her and go some tiles. I'm going to do that red match to set off Marjana. We're about to get a, fist, a face full of uh, Ursina and arrows here. Which is, yep, I was going to say he's probably going to kill Gravemaker. Very unfortunate. Um, what do I want to do here? I think I have to go after Ursina. I don't want to be able to clear Jean Francois here, so hopefully Rhaegar doesn't die. This should kill Ursina. Okay, that's good. I'm trying to decide if I just want to kill Jean-Francois now, or if I want to try to start going after June over there. Because I could hit June and then maybe the purple tiles would kill him, but I, I feel like it would just leave a little bit left. And I don't want June killing Regard. So let's see here. Jean Francois, if I kill him, I can ghost quite easily. And that might be okay. If I 
go after June, I might be able to just straight up kill him. This is a risk, but let's see what happens here. Ugh, I knew that figures, and he's going to kill Regard. Did I not call that, or what? Jeez. Now we've got the arrows going crazy. Why did that have to cascade into a Lacey? Come on now. This is really painful. This is really, really painful. I'm like racing the clock here. It's just, I have two heroes versus Elise. Come on. Watch Elise kill the shot here. <sighs> this game sometimes, man. I got a whole 50 points out of it. All right. Well, let's see. What else do we have here? I'm looking for a possible other non-Vela flank, but I don't think I'm going to find it. So let's go with... I think this is a good one for my purple team. The one that has Demisha because she's a cleanser. Where is Panther? Panther, 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 where are you? I'm sure I'm like scrolling right past her. Y'all are laughing at me. Yeah. Of course I am. There we are. Okay. So we've got two cleansers here. I'm going to trade places here, though, just because I want Demisha to protect Quintus and Sartana. Let's do it that way. Notice how I put the level 15 troop on Demisha because she only really needs a level 5 troop to go off basically at fast speed. The 29 troop makes Quintus go off at basically from slow to average. He's always going to be a slow hero, but the number of tiles is reduced such that he's basically average speed now. Well, this board would have been nice the last game. I mean, I won't complain too much. I won the last one, and that is not easy to do these days. 
but this looks like trouble. I should be able to set off the red diamond by making this yellow match into a blue match into a red match. So that helped reset the board, but I didn't really, didn't really progress very far. Let me just do this one here so I can possibly clear this effect. Let's work on getting a few more purples in here. I'm getting wrecked this turn. And then we got the arrows too. That's a shame. We just gotta hope for some chaos here. Not enough chaos. I just wanna at least take out Solaria. Just please let me at least take out Solaria. This is an example of how not to do things. <laughs> Four out of the five heroes ended with way more health than they started with. Oh dear. Okay. Well. I've got... Let's take the green heavy team. Oops, let's do um, Cademan costume because he is a cleanser and that is awesome. That is really awesome. Now, Solari has a sliver of life. I hope I can at least kill her before she goes off. I hold my breath these days. Nothing seems to kill Teleria. Okay. There we go. Why is he not dead? Why don't these heroes die? Come on. I don't know if you guys are noticing that, but I sure have been noticing that ever since it's been possible to get the heroes up to uh, 20 emblems, is they always seem to just almost die, but they always have like a little sliver of life left. I'm kind of saving this regard for Vela. I say kind of, but that's because... If I get too far down on health, I have to use him. But this this should do it pretty well. Yeah, I could have used Regard before, but oh well. Okay. Now let's see, I've got a yellow team I can attack with. And regard. Make sure that level 27 troop is on Delilah to make her basically go from average to fast speed. Hmm.
Oh, how do I get myself out of this one? All right, well, I don't really see this one going very far because once Larry goes off with the arrows, even with two healers, it's going to be very hard for me to charge anybody. I hope that's my saving grace, but Larry's about to go off again, and I, I really need the healing. Oh my gosh, everybody's going off. There's just no time. There's just no time in this game to recover. I mean, especially with arrows. If you if you can't set your heroes off in four turns, you are dead. You are dead. The only thing I can do is just try to get to Larry down as much as I possibly can. We got Gravemaker going off again. I mean, I'm afraid if I if I make any matches, all it's gonna do is charge up Teleria and set her off again and heal some more. I I can't do anything. I can't take any more life away, so I have to flee, or else the healing that's already on is just gonna heal Teleria up more. So I can't. I can't do that. Well. Let's try, let's try the Boomer Bus team. So that's going to be, like a all red team basically, 4-1 though, not all red. That looks good. Can make a red diamond. There's not many red tiles on the board, but I still like I need I need to get more red tiles before I actually set that off. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, let's um let's get Regard to fire up before we get absolutely crushed by Vela and Gravemaker. All right. <laughs> All right. 
And that's why it's the boomer bust team. Sometimes it just goes boom. All right, well, I've just got, I can do a cleanup. So let's take the heavy blue. This one features Kunchen in the middle, wherever Kunchen may be. And then we'll go with Frida, Athena, Alice, Lacey. You know, arrows is actually tough with cleanup because they go off a lot. And if you have some dangerous heroes on the other side, you got to be really careful. All right. Let's start over here. All right, and that's it. That is my war. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.